Coaching Leadership Partners. And for the last 12 days, we've been doing coaching sessions that are absolutely free. They only take about 10 minutes out of your day and hopefully they're making a huge difference in your life. Our goal is to help you to identify the different things in your life that you can get rid of and start replacing them with the good things that we all want to accomplish in our lives. So many of us have this as a goal, but we don't write it down and we don't pursue it. Well, today we're going to start working on that. Now, if this is the first session that you've seen, I really do encourage you to go back to the first session and follow us along from the very beginning. And the reason why is twofold, really. The first is that we're following along through the book of Proverbs, and we're taking the wisdom of Solomon and actually applying it to these coaching sessions. I think that it's really been a good process for me, and I know that it can be a good process for you as well. The other part of this is, is that we've been systematically progressing in our goal development. If we started out 12 days ago and we started out with very, very basic goals and what we should be at now is we're rewriting our goals and we're starting to see them that for the past two weeks almost, we've seen our goals progress from something that's very, very basic to something that's actually become quite complex. What we're going to do today is we're going to go through Proverbs chapter 12 and Solomon talks a lot about how there are negative things in our lives and they should be done in a positive way. In other words, he has a lot of contrast comparison here in Proverbs chapter 12, and I think that you'll actually see that. So in conjunction with that, what we want to do is we want to fast the negative, and we want to start feasting on the positive. So I can get the negative things out of my life and replace those with positive habits, then what will happen is, is that I'll eventually begin to be begin changing the way that I look at things, the way that I react to things, and the way that my life changes. And we'll actually see our goals be fulfilled as we do this process. So what does Proverbs chapter 12 have in store for us? Proverbs chapter 12 is going to tell us the value of discipline. Proverbs chapter 12 will also tell, talk about the value of wise plans versus wicked ones. And we'll also see where we need to pay attention to what we say, what we think, and the way that we live. Proverbs chapter 12 tells us this, to learn you must love discipline, it's stupid to hate correction. The Lord approves of those who are good, but he condemns those whose plan plan wickedness. Wickedness never brings stability, but the godly have deep roots. A worthy wife is a crown for her husband, but a disgraceful woman is like a cancer in his bones. The plans of the godly are just. The advice of the wicked is treacherous. The words of the wicked are like a murderous ambush, but the words of the godly save lives. The wicked die and disappear, but the family of the godly stand firm. A sensible person wins admiration, but a warped mind is despised. Better to be an ordinary person with a servant than to be self-important but have no food. The godly care for their animals, but the wicked are always cruel. A hard worker has plenty of food, but a person who chases fantasies has no sense. Thieves are jealous of each other's loot, but the godly are well-rooted and bear their own fruit. The wicked are trapped by their own words, but the godly escape such trouble. Wise words bring many benefits, and hard work brings rewards. Fools think their own way is right, but the wise listen to others. A fool is quick-tempered, but a wise person stays calm when insulted. An honest witness tells truth, a false witness tells lies. Some people make cutting remarks, but the words of the wise bring healing. Truthful words stand the test of time, but lies are soon exposed. Deceit fills hearts that are plotting evil. Joy fills hearts that are planning peace. No harm comes to the godly, but the wicked have their fill of trouble. The Lord detests lying lips, but he delights in those who tell the truth. The wise don't make a show of their knowledge, but fools broadcast their foolishness. Work hard and become a leader. Be lazy and become a slave. Worry weighs a person down. An encouraging word cheers a person up. The godly give good advice to their friends. The wicked lead them astray. Lazy people don't even cook the game that they catch, but the diligent make use of everything they find. The way of the godly leads to life. That path does not lead to death. So what we see in Proverbs chapter 12 is that we have the value of a contrast and comparison available to this. In fact, Proverbs 12, 1 tells us to learn you must love discipline. It's stupid to hate correction. So we can see that he tells us that we need to start looking for these positive things in our lives rather than the negative things. You know, a lot of us will be... Um, will have us corrected by our bosses, our wives, our partners. Uh, there are people that will tell us, hey, you need to do this better. Well, the reality is, is that they're actually trying to help us. They're not trying to harm us. And if I can take that into play, then I can see that Proverbs 12.1 actually has a lot of value for me. 
So what we want to do today is we want to fast the negative, we want to feast on the positive. So if I can take the, take the things out of my life that are actually causing me to be negative, then I can start identifying the positive things and replacing those things. So the best thing for me to do is to actually go through and start finding a process that I can do to identify those negative things in my life. So why don't you try this? For the next 24 hours, I encourage you to set your phone with a one hour timer on it. And every single hour, text yourself what you're doing. If you're on Facebook and two hours later, you're still on Facebook, write down, hey, I'm still on Facebook. Or if you're working, write that down. If you're hanging around the water cooler, if you're taking a 10 minute break and it's taken three hours to do that, if you're driving from one place to another, if you're wasting your time on something specific, what we wanna do is we wanna identify that through the method of texting ourselves. And what you'll be able to do is you'll actually be able to write down a course of events for a, throughout the entire day. You'll see if you spent too much time on one thing and you didn't spend enough time on another. You'll also see the negative attributes, especially those that Solomon identified in chapter 12 here. And you may be able to take that and turn it around and start putting the positive ones in there as well. And then that's the second step, in fact. The second thing I'd like you to do is to start identifying a suitable substitute to take the place of the negative part that you're fasting, that you're trying to get out of your life. Now, it may be difficult to do, but I really do encourage you to take this third step, which is to actually do it as soon as possible. You got to get rid of the negative behavior and don't wait until tomorrow or don't wait until three times from now when you're continual, continually having this problem. What you really need to do is you need to identify that negative behavior, get it out, and then replace it with a positive behavior. And you've got to do it right now. You've got to do it right after you finish this video, maybe even while you're watching this video. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that we can identify all these negative aspects in our lives and get them out of our lives. And what will end up happening is, is that it will actually positively affect our goals. And in fact, we should look towards our goals for those items that are actually preventing us from attaining that. And we've done that for the past couple of days. We want to identify those positive things. Now remember, this teaching is solution focused. So I don't want to focus on the negative. I don't want to focus on those things that are actually holding us down. I don't want you to beat yourself up about them. I'm not going to beat you up about them. You shouldn't let anyone else beat you up about them. What we want to do is we want to focus on the solution. And that's where these positive aspects being integrated into our lives will make all the difference in the world. So why not join us in this process? If you don't want to miss any more of these videos, make sure that you subscribe over here. And if you do that and hit the notification bell, you'll be notified every single time that we make a new post. I also encourage you, if you're watching this on Facebook, to share it with, with all of your friends. And if you make a comment, you give it a thumbs up. Or if you share this, what will end up happening is, is that you'll see more of this type of content. So I really encourage you to do all of those things. But in the meantime, use this as a tool to be a miracle.